Right. Yes. Hello. Welcome to Free Vinyl Discovery, where I am diving through a load of accidentally, inexplicably inherited free vinyl. Today, we are doing a record from a band that is very dear to my heart. Um, one of my all-time favourite bands, but this is an album that I had never heard in full before, but know plenty about. Fleetwood Mac, Tango in the Night, 1987. Ooh, what a great album uh, to listen to. Uh, of course, there are some massive juggernaut hits in there, such as Big Love, Seven Wonders, Everywhere, and Little Lies. That's, that's the bass, you know, that... <laughs> What a great start. Those songs are timeless. Those songs just, they're bigger than the sum of their parts. They're Fleetwood Mac, I mean, come on. Uh, but what's great about this album is that it's in terrible condition. Uh, <laughs> all of those songs uh, skip awfully. Yeah, this is the first time in this pile that I have come up with bad news. For some reason, all of the really popular songs skip frequently um I'm, really, you know, I'm sorry to have led you on there but it's just it was not very good but the one um upside in that was that the songs that aren't as commonly played the, the radio songs if you like uh don't really skip and so i have had greater chance to enjoy those because the songs that i really love on this album um caused me to have a bit of a meltdown. <laughs> Big Love, Seven Wonders and Everywhere, that is a great uh, triad of songs and a fantastic way to open the album. It's just on this specific copy, it skipped so often they are actually the worst songs to be listening to <laughs> on this specific copy. But then you've got Caroline, Tango in the Night and Mystified, which I'd never heard of before, I'd never played them before. So they were really fun, especially uh, Caroline. That was really groovy, really enjoyed that. I had heard Tango in the Night before, but not really long enough to let it stick in my head. And then it turns over to the B-side, it opens with Little Lies, one of my all-time favourite Fleetwood Mac songs, um, skipped every other second. Uh, not really very pleasant to listen to. But Family Man, Welcome to the Moon, Sarah, those are really underrated. I think. I really did enjoy them. Uh, and When I See You Again is also a really good song. Really enjoyed that too. And oh, well, isn't it Midnight? Forgot about that. Christine McVie. I've got to give her credit. She's not really my favourite contributor in Fleetwood Mac, but on this album she really does pull it together and I think some of her songs are some of the best. But overall this is a really strong album and it's 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 verging on a 10 out of 10 for me. I really did enjoy this. I mean, I'm very keen on 80s music and then Fleetwood Mac coming into the 80s is like a match made in heaven for me. It's just such a shame that this specific copy was um, flawed but all of these records <laughs> came to me for free so I can't really complain. Uh, the album is in relatively good condition, slightly frayed at the sides but really that pales in comparison to the fact that the most popular records skipped. It is very likely then that whoever had this record before me was a quite a big Fleetwood Mac fan, but only with the singles. So they're probably putting the needle all over the place and not doing it very carefully. If I see Tango in the Night in the Wild, I'm probably gonna buy another one because it's a fantastic album. It's really brilliant, but this one really lets the side down. I can't really listen to it. It's It skips so often, especially on Little Lies, which is my favourite on the album. So I will be keeping my eyes open for a copy of Tango in the Night for a good price. Um, this one is worth less. <laughs> so let me know uh, your experience of Fleetwood Mac with this album, um, what you think, what you feel. Thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry that this one was a bit more of a moan, but I considering we're what, on episode five or six now, and this is um, the first record that's really skipped in a significant way, I'm optimistic that this isn't going to be a regular occurrence. So, with that in mind, I bid you farewell and I look forward to seeing you again next week.